Yeah, it's so so wonderful, so beautiful. It makes my heart so happy. This conversation makes me feel so so good. It uh, it's awesome. We I, I'm sure that uh, us as transpersonal psychology, we we could just go back and forth and and deeply, you know, we could just do this forever. Um, but uh, I I want to also leave us uh, time and room um to speak about the upcoming conference. Um, so uh, so. It, Oh, oh, hey. there, oh, there we go. Uh, what, what, a, it. what a time for that. Yeah, that, I guess that worked out nice. Did you, did you press a button or something? No, I didn't press a button. Uh, that, that's a part of those gestures. Oh. I, I, I mentioned that uh, these gesture things oh, might happen. Oh. And, well, and when, I, when I did one of these okay. motions, it's... Well, I must up. say, I, I don't know whether we'll have fireworks at the conference. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, perhaps metaphorically, we'll have fireworks at the conference. Absolutely. That, I mean, uh, j j just like this conversation gives me some fireworks in my heart, uh, mm -hmm. I know the the conference gives us all uh, fireworks in our heart too. So, um, so uh, Euratos 2024 with Olive Trust, there is a Euro there's a, a, a European transpersonal psychology conference, international conference happening in Oxford. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, of course. So let me give you the title of the conference. Mm -hmm. It's called Creative Bridges. Mm -hmm. And then the subtitle is Embedded, no, sorry, Embodied Consciousness, Psyche and Soul in Research mm -hmm. and Practice. And I think, you know, that title expresses where I'm coming from. I hope it expresses a lot from, you know, where other people are coming from as well. Uh, consciousness is not something floating around in hyperspace or wherever. It's embodied. And that's an important point. Psyche. We know what psyche is. But, you know, you can't really engage with some of the most important issues in our day without recognizing that spiritual dimension. So the word soul is in there. We could debate, we could spend two hours talking about the meaning of the word soul, but let's just yeah. leave that for the moment. But the, the main title, Creative Bridges. So I think I've been a bridge builder all my, all my life, in one way or another. I think that transpersonal psychology really depends on bridges. I mean, we bridge, you know, the scientific and, and the spiritual, okay? And I think it's very important. I think we're at a bit of a turning point as far as transpersonal psychology is concerned. We're at a turning point as far as the world as a whole is concerned, actually, but leave that for the moment. You know, transpersonal psychology, I don't know who's going to continue in its current guise. You know, when transpersonal psychology was inaugurated, again, in the 1970s, People were interested in psychedelics. People were interested in meditation. And these things were taboo within mainstream psychology. So transpersonal psychology grew as the area where you could talk about these things. That's changed in our day. You know, in some ways, transpersonal psychology has been very successful because these ideas are now more or less in the mainstream. And the question about the future of, psych of transpersonal psychology, I think, is very interesting. Um, and, you know, I don't know that it will survive in its current form. But what I do know is that if it is going to survive, it has to engage with other cognate disciplines. And that's what I mean by bridges, right? So, for example, in this conference, which is... 4th to 8th of September 2024 and the website just plugging it a little bit yeah go to www.eurotas2024.com mm -hmm. that's the website I'll, I'll um, also so, put that down here oh great okay. it'll also go down here oh that'll be wonderful so you know in setting up the structure of the conference I was determined that we wouldn't just fall back on the same old ways. You know, my experience of transpersonal gatherings and conferences is that we do tend to rely 
on well-established individuals, ideas. I think, and this is another paradox, I think transpersonal psychology has paradoxically become somewhat reticent to change, which is a paradox when you think about its origins. But anyway, so, you know, I was really, if I'm going to run a conference, so, you know, Eurotas is the organisation and they have an annual gathering or conference, but the conference is passed over to one country to organise. So, you know, I was approached by the board of Eurotas to run through through out of trust to run this conference so it's it, it's our responsibility we take all the responsibility we plan it we organize the finance all the different etc so when you know the, if i were going to be responsible i wanted to make sure that we didn't just fall back on the same old patterns so i wanted for example the keynote speakers to to come from other disciplines they're not some of them are very connected with the transpersonal, others are not so connected with the transpersonal, but they are all interested in the spiritual, mystical, etc., or consciousness. So, you know, it's to say, I think the statement of the conference is to say, let's open our boundaries somewhat. Let's grow by engaging and building these bridges. Mm-hmm. So I think that's really important. I think, you know, I mean, I would say this one night because I'm involved in organizing the conference. But I, you know, trying to sort of step up a bit, you know, trying to get a bird's eye view. And I should add, I have been involved in a number of different disciplines. You know, I'm involved in a university department of religion and theology and neuroscience and, and, and anthropology. And, you know, so you know, taking that bird's eye view, I think it is crucial that we open up our boundaries our yeah. borders, and, uh, you know, in that sense, we're a kind of microcosm of the world. Mm-hmm. I think that's the world. <laughs> the world needs that. The world needs that. You know, when we were talking before about the role of language and narrative, think about the world at the moment. I mean, you know, there's a lot of war, a lot of real crises in our world. And when you think about it, these are, these, these are wars, these are crises of narrative. Think about Russia and Ukraine. Think about Israel and Palestinians, right? It's all about the narratives. It's another subject. I'm not going to go deeply into that now. I mean, we could talk about it a lot if you wanted. But, yeah. you know, that's what is causing the wars. Mm-hmm. And we are living in a transitional age in many kinds of ways. Uh, I think religiously, spiritually, mystically and and you know transitional ages would we've had them in the past right but maybe we didn't get things quite right and they are very much about narrative Mm -hmm. so i think that's very important so coming back to the conference you know it's yeah we'll have a whole range of workshops and the, the kind of things that you expect in a transversal psychology conference. Hands-on, engaging, participatory, a lot of, a lot of fun as well. <laughs> but at the core is this idea of saying, well, it's time to move forward. Mm. And that's why I was very keen that we'd have the conference at Oxford. Mm-hmm. And you know, the truth is, we pay a price for that because... Oxford is an expensive city and you know we're taking a big risk with the finances there you go that's that that's the reality you you know you can never move forward if you don't take some kind of risk yeah. Oxford is a very special city you know it's uh, it, it's not just academic right I mean obviously we know about the university and all the discoveries and academic stuff and so but you know Oxford is also about Tolkien. It's also about C.S. Lewis, Narnia. It's also about Philip Pullman, if you know his work. Uh, these Harry Potter they, is Harry Potter as well. In <laughs> fact, the accommodation, the accommodation with, with the conference is in one of the oldest colleges. It's called New College. 
it's there's another paradox. Yeah. It was it's called New College because when it was built, it was new. But it was built, I think, in the thirteenth century or fourteenth century. So <laughs> it's a beautiful college. Mm-hmm. The there are scenes in the Harry Potter movies that were filmed in that in the cloisters of that college. So if you've gone to you, come to the conference, you've only need to see the cloisters of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh... you know it's 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 not just academic. It's about people who have these visionary sense, you know, through fiction, of what is possible, what is real. You know, of course, fictional works aren't real, but in many ways, Alice in Wonderland is another one, also written in Oxford, right? You know, these different worlds that authors create, they tell us quite a bit about reality actually even though they're just fictional right. yeah so uh, oxford is at the core of a spiritual and kind of academic renewal yeah it, it absolutely talk. beautiful to have uh, this transpersonal psychology conference in oxford i think it's a uh, such a significant point for it, it, it everything seems so synchronistic and aligned i really when when i first heard that the title of the conference was creative bridges that was such a and and, and the the consciousness psyche and soul that that all that all really resonates so deeply with me my understanding of transpersonal psychology my understanding of human flourishing and wholeness and uh, personal narrative as Travis, like the 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 tra- Travis is like travel and traverse, and uh, and it's the travel tax that you pay to cross the bridge. It's the toll mm-hmm. that you uh, pay to cross mm-hmm. the bridge. So uh, a beautiful idea. And, and then the the gray and the paradox, like all of this was so uh, deeply synchronistic and, um, and 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 revealing and uh, wonderful for me. I really love the the. Uh, the in uh, the encouragement for transpersonal psychology to continue to transform i i think of it it will continue to transform myself and other uh, y- other uh, scholars of my generation um taking on the torch i i i sort of see us as the third generation of transpersonal scholars and so taking on the torch to uh, to continue to evolve and transform, and have have wider wider reaching influence on the ways of 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 practical solution oriented things in the world. There, there's a lot that we can contribute to the world, and it it is really important that we are connecting these other scientific disciplines in order for in, in order for those scientific disciplines to be in so that we can uh, cross pollinate the information um and and that continues to allow us to transform and evolve and grow and this conference i'm so excited about it um it, and uh i i made my proposal and uh i hope to uh integrate some conversation about harry potter <laughs> in my oh, proposal right. but, uh, so I was approached, would we run this conference? This is about a year ago or something like that. And yeah. the first response I had, you know, I'm I'm hugely busy with what I do through the Aleph Trust. And I knew that trying to organize a conference was going to be a lot of work. And it, it, believe me, it is a lot of work. Why did I say yes? Well, there were a number of reasons I said yes. I went into it knowing that it was going to be a lot of work. But the reason I said yes, partly... You know what we're talking about here, the 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 sense of you know needing this, this is the future of transpersonal psychology. That's what we're talking about. But you know, you mentioned the generations. You said you're the third generation, right? I I would probably say I'm second generation, you know, or the end of the second generation. How <laughs> you look at it? And you know, I, I I thought, yeah, it's something that I can do. I'll you know I. Don't want to make it too dramatic, but I can't imagine me doing something like this again in the future. (laughs) So it's like, yeah, I can offer this. I'll put the work in and it's there. And, you know, I mean, coming up with the title, coming up with the location, that's all part of what I say. Okay, this is something that I can offer to the discipline. And it's for others to take it on. It is for others to take it on.
And, you and know, thank you for doing that. And thank you for <laughs> putting in the work and, and putting all this together. It's so foundational, so important. There's a lot that I personally would like to be learning or professionally, I guess, would like to be learning about conference construction so that in the future, I uh, and and a group of my peers can continue to put on these conferences for many years and generations to come. So uh, thank you so much for, for all the work that you're doing and putting that together. Again, the website for the European Transpersonal Psychology Conference in Oxford, uh, September 4th through the 8th, is Eurotos. 2024.com e-u-r-o-t-a-s 2024.com hearing you say that that maybe you will take this on in future years uh i could give you lots of advice because i've got lots of things that are happening while i'm trying to do this conference but there's one word trust trust <laughs> it's no accident it's, we have out of trust you know i think if you're trying to put on a conference i think you have to have trust yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this conversation. I know that you are really busy doing all of those things. So it, it's an honor that you've uh, chosen to give me some of your time for this conversation and to our listeners, uh, to other transpersonal psychologists, and as as another invitation to uh, join the conference. It's uh, it's really a significant deal. It's, it's really a significant uh, turning point as we're speaking about in the field of transpersonal psychology. So you don't want to miss out. You want to be a part of that. And uh, I look forward to all the all the fun that we're going to have at that conference. All right. I'll see you very soon. <laughs> My gesture didn't bring up the fireworks, but yours does. Mine does, because <laughs> I, I have a MacBook. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Travis. Thank, Thank you. you. If you're thinking, who is this man talking to?